So we're gonna try it again. Ha <laughs> ha! We had to, we're so nice, we had to do it twice. Pew pew pew. So ladies of leisure wine, um, we're trying to get her on. There she goes, there she goes. So uh, Navina, what we're gonna do is send you a request to join. Okay, do your request. Go live. I'm gonna go live, so accept the request. There you go! Yay! <laughs> yes, it worked. I know. We have you. We have Yay. you. So excited. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Man, we're so excited to be like sipping with you and about to do this taste uh, of this amazing rosé you have here. I, so. I'm so excited too. Yeah. I just pulled mine out of the freezer, so it's thawing a little bit. Oh, so it's nice and chilled. Oh. Yeah. See, look at that. It's like still wet and dripping. Oh, oh show ours, bartender Ben. Show ours. <laughs> yes, and the bottle is so beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. I still haven't opened it yet. I guess I should probably do that. So does the, the lettering on the bottle match the color of the rosé? It's close. It's not, it's not the exact color, but it's close. It looks like it to me. Yeah, you know. Oh, well then, you know what? It is. It is. Ah, it's perfect. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna turn it up. You know what? I don't see you guys. Uh-oh. Can you see us now? I can hear you, but I just don't see you. Uh-oh. Wow. So, can you see me? Yeah, yeah, we see you. It's like a split screen. Yeah, but I don't know why I'm not seeing you. Oh, no. Because I want to see you. I want to see your I pretty know. faces. Well, we see your amazing, beautiful face. Uh, thank um, you. And you know, as as a lady of leisure, you know, I have to see my fellow queen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so we are openness, and and it's zero f's given. That's Rose. right. The name <laughs> speaks for itself. Yes, it does. that's right. I'm here for the name. Yeah. How do you come up with the name. You know, I just, I give a lot, I don't give a lot of Fs about a lot of stuff. And it's, it's the name. It just, yeah, it just, it felt so natural. It's like, what, what's my personality like? Yeah. Um, and, and really, I feel like it came from, I think I just got so tired of like, you know, weird internet culture, weird internet drama. And I was just like, who cares about all this stuff? I was like, and, and that was kind of another inspiration. I think I was just so sick of politics, um, culture, and I was just like, I just need to give zero Fs about all this stuff. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's the perfect name for a rosé. And yeah, it, we love the name. We love the color. Thank um, you. So, I want you to like take us through like this rose. Like, we're just so excited. I haven't taken a sip yet. Have you yet? Mm. Oh, I just took a sip. See, I, I need to see you guys. Oh, okay. I'm about to take, I'm taking my sip. So, please yes. tell us, tell us, tell us all the things. Yes. Do, should we cheers first? Mm. That too. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Virtual cheers. Cheers. Yes. cheers. yes. yes. Mmm, this is delicious. You know what mm. you're looking at. Nice and cold. Oh, it's uh, freezing cold. I love it. 13 and a half percent alcohol. Oh, someone yeah. on the chat asked, what's the name again? Oh, so yeah, the name and who we have here. So like, let's introduce you because I feel like we just hopped in. Like, oh, like, I know. Well, because you and I talk, so I feel like it was just like, hey, girl. I know, so hey, friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So why don't you just introduce yourself and sure. we'll go from there. Yeah, sure. So my name is Navenna um, and I'm the founder of Ladies of Leisure and we just launched in July. So we're, we're brand new and, you know, we're getting ourselves out there. Yes. And Ladies of Leisure, this wine is amazing. You have several different types of wine, but today yeah. we're doing the rosé because it's a rosé hour. Um, and so we're tasting... Zero F's given. That's and right. 
it is exactly exactly what you would think it's your apps given what tastes like like i don't care about nothing but this wine right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great way to put it exactly yeah, i don't care about i don't care about nothing but this wine i'm just gonna sip my wine relax chill out you know compose my thoughts or whatever you want to do and just kind of tune out the world and give yourself a little break that's, that's, that's exactly really what, what it is, is. Yeah, it's sure. exactly what it is. So what are the, no, like, I know, I'm not no sommelier or any of it, and I know the number one question bartender Ben has is the alcohol. So yes. what are the tasty notes? What are we tasting? What are we feeling? The effervescence and all that. Yeah. And then what is the alcohol percentage in this? The, so the alcohol percentage is 13.5. Yes. You know, go big or go home. No uh, 7 percenters right. here. We're here for that. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so the the rosé is 50% Grenache and 50% I'm going to I'm going to mess up this word cuz it's a French word, but it's 50% murder rare. Ah! Murder rare. Well, <laughs> not that's murder. That's I'm not saying that's murder. That's <laughs> we know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Mur <laughs> it's such a hard word. It is. It is. Well, we know exactly what you mean. Yeah. We do. We've seen it. We can't, we, we, we point to it too, like, murder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, oh, it's so hard. Murderer. 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 Yes. Murderer grapes always make a good wine. Yes. Murderer. Murderer grapes. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. Um, and then in terms of the tasting notes, it has a lot of bright stone fruit, um, like, you know, peach, nectarine. Um, and then there's a lot of tropical fruit, and then there's a little bit of hint of blackberry, and that comes from the the murderer, <laughs> murderer, <laughs> murderer, <laughs> murdering wine. <laughs> yeah, no, I taste it. I don't know about you all, but I, I definitely uh, like. I taste the blackberry. Like I definitely yeah. get a, a hint of that. What do you What do you get a hint of, Ben? He's being dramatic. He's I know. Gonna say silence. <laughs> well, she can't see us, so that's why you have to. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm oh no, I can't. I wish I could see you guys. I don't know why. Oh, then you can't see us. I'm just, I'm just imagining you two. <laughs> so what are you seeing right now? You just see yourself. I see myself, and then I see the top of the screen is black, and it's just spinning. Oh. Yeah. oh. That might be your connection. Yeah. Oh, really? Storming in New York because it's about to go down here in DC. Yeah. Why? What's what's happening? The storm is about to like so oh. like Wi-Fi connections, and I know like the storm is traveling north. And we just had one not yeah. long ago, and I know it, like whenever we have a few hours later, New York has it. Yeah, I mean it hasn't. It it thunderstorm this morning. Like it woke me up, but. Today it's been okay, so I don't I don't know what's going on. Oh no! Well, and I also am looking at it on my phone as well. Mm -hmm. so see us on our phone, so people can see us. So <laughs> well, I'm glad people so can glad see. Can see both of us, so that's good. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is good. <laughs> well, how did you just... get into the wine industry? I know that's something people want to know, and I know we talked about this on the episode. Yeah, um, but but to the we'll just give a little people a little teaser. Yeah, so I mean, I grew up around wine. My grandparents had wine, like a couple of rows of vineyards on their property. So I kind of grew up around it. Um, I did some grape picking. I did some stomping, and that just kind of introduced me to it. And then um, I also grew up on the North Fork of Long Island, so we kind of grew around grapes. And then I started to really, really like it. Um, I just love the atmosphere, the vibe. And two years ago, my friends and I were sitting at one of our um, favorite vineyards, just kind of talking, having fun. And we started coming up with these like fun, crazy wine names. And I was just like, wait a minute, this is fun. Like I haven't seen this out in the market. Um, you know, we were just, we were enjoying it. And I just kind of went home and thought about it. And I was like, this could be a real good idea. I already like wine. I'm already around wine a lot. Um, and I just, you know, took six months to a year, closer to a year, let's, let's be honest, closer to a year, um, just doing research and figuring out how I can get this thing up and running. Um, 
And then last April during the pandemic, um, I met my business partner. They have um, a wine manufacturing company. So initially I talked to them about maybe producing my wine and then we kind of got to talking and then we decided to launch this thing together where, you know, I would handle the, the creative aspects and then they would do um, the sourcing, which they have a lot more experience than I do. I mean, I have no experience in that. Um, and we're working with a really great vineyard out in Sonoma. Um, and that's, that's kind of how it started. Wow. So yeah. how many like types of wine are in the ladies of leisure brand? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it that way. I feel like you have to say it like, oh, yeah, yeah, ladies of leisure. <laughs> so currently, currently we had three. Um, we have three. I, uh, you know, initially when I was coming up with the ideas and the creative design, I was like, we're going to start with six wines. <laughs> I was like, two whites, two rosés, two reds. And then we're also going to have a bubbly. And then I was like, okay, wait a minute. Let me just kind of think this through, scale back a little bit. Um, so yeah, so right now we have three wines. We have Sexy Sauve, which is a Sauvignon Blanc. We have the Zero F's Given Rosé. And then we have uh, Racy Red, which is a red blend. So those are our three wines. We kind of wanted to give something for every wine drinker. You know, some people don't like rosé as much, some might not like white. So we wanted to have three wines and satisfy everybody Definitely. in the world. And you do, like, and yeah. that's okay. like, I'm sorry. I, I'm a fan. I, I got to drink up fast because uh, Martin and Ben, uh, when he finds a rosé he likes, he goes hard <laughs> and hard quick. I like it. I like yeah. it, Bartender Ben. Keep it up. Yes. <laughs> this bottle will be done before the end of the line. <laughs> Let me get a refill then. You know what, you guys, I'm going to refill you some of mine because I can't drink an entire bottle, at least not on camera. <laughs> Not that one that you could talk about on camera, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's two of us, so that's normal. We, yeah, this is camera time, right? So exactly, like, exactly. So, like, where where do you see like ladies of leisure going? Because like when I think of ladies of leisure, you know, you know, when I when I found out about this, I told Martin a bit. I was like, we were meant to be friends. Like, <laughs> I literally was like, oh my god, like the name. I am a lady of leisure. Yeah. I, I, I want a leisure suit. I want a leisure car. Yeah. I want a leisure home. <laughs> What's a leisure home? <laughs> I don't know, but I want one. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> I just feel like it's a lifestyle. So, like, yeah. do you see I, this being, like, a lifestyle brand and, like, taking this, like, further than just want like I feel like ladies of leisure is like a, a lifestyle like a yeah what you want in life <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely and that's that's kind of how I'm thinking of it too I think of our brand as a lifestyle brand and we make wine as our first product um so I definitely want to do some you know down the road I want to do some clothing maybe some home goods because it does it does give way to doing other products not just wine um and I come from the fashion industry, so I worked in clothing, I worked in fashion, so it kind of feels very natural if I was to extend the, the brand and go into, you know, clothing. Um, and then eventually maybe home. And then I, eventually maybe home, so I can get you that Lady of Leisure home. Please do! I, <laughs> I love this Lady of Leisure home. I would like a sign that says it when you, like, drive up. This is yeah. the Lady of Leisure's home. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, I can tell you're in fashion, like, the ensemble you have on right now, like, oh yeah, through it, like, yes, come on, it's New York Fashion Week, give it yeah. To us. So, <laughs> this is actually from um, the first company that I worked for in New York. It's called Tucker, and it kind of has like a, I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of has this like Hawaiian print. And I saw it in my closet, and I've been watching White Lotus. I don't know if you guys have been watching it, but it kind of. Yes! You think of Hawaii and White Lotus, so I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this for my happy hour. Yeah, tell, tell her again. You got, you gotta say it again. We just started watching White Lotus. Like a couple of days. You just started? Okay, well, I'm not gonna tell you what. Okay, happened. well, I, I'm, I'm one of those people. I will punish a show if you have the whole series on. So oh, I'm me done. too. You already watched it. Oh, I'm sorry, but like, you need to talk to me about it. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna act like I'm surprised. 
But y'all see that? But y'all okay. See that? But like White Lotus. Okay, just we we have to do it for one second. So, yeah. So we all saw the first episode. Mm -hmm. Are we all confused? Like, did we all not know that the the show is so confused? Like, it's so good, but it's so like what? It is, yeah. Like, you don't really know what's going on, and then also the music is so intense. Like in the first episode and throughout the show, that it kind of it builds so much tension. And like, once you watch it, like every episode builds on that tension, and you feel like oh, there's gonna be like some sort of a explosion at the end, and. Um, there kind of is. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give anything away. Um, but I, you know what I really liked. I don't know if you're gonna notice this throughout the show. Maybe you will now that I say it. But I loved um, the the back of the beds. Like they all had these like really pretty, um, like Hawaiian big Hawaiian bold prints. And so every time they had a scene in the bedrooms, like I kind of just paid attention to that. Like it really caught my eye. And then this print kind of reminds me of that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to wear this. Oh, I did not you know? notice that. And now I'm going to, as I'm watching it for the first time again, these other episodes, I will pay attention to that. Now. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, but it is like, it's, it's a confusing show at first. Like I didn't really know what, I watched the first episode and I was like, all right, they're in Hawaii. It looks pretty, but it, once you get the next like two episodes, you're kind of gonna know what's going on. Oh yeah. Oh, it it it, it intensifies quick. And mm -hmm. let's go ahead and say, if I'm watching White Lotus now, and now that we're drinking zero F's given, mm -hmm. great combination, people. <laughs> it is. You said it's a great combination. This wine and watching White Lotus. Yes, this one yeah. washing yeah. white lotus because literally like several of the characters you see where they turn to zero Fs. Oh, they they all give zero Fs. Yeah. The point it's where so like, like it becomes the theme. Like they're yeah. like nope. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And you know what? I feel like they they give a lot of zero Fs and they also kind of exemplify the the ugly side of being being like a, a leisurely person, let's say. Yeah, they're not the good leisurely. Yeah, person. no, they're definitely not the good leisurely. They're almost like what you would what you would think about when you think about um, leisure, like you know, in the Great Gatsby era, like those kinds of like people of leisure, let's call them, because it's not all ladies in that show. Yeah, they're the leisure, not leisure. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> You gotta say it real deep. <laughs> so you know, you you you're just so amazing. You you done a lot. You're done the fashion industry. You know, taking the brand a lot of places. I know, Martin and Ben, like you like to know how people make drinks too out of people's rose because he's a yes. he, he. So he's not a real bartender, but he's a real bartender. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just because I don't have no license, that don't mean I don't know how to do it. I mean, people don't don't know how to drive, but they can drive illegally, right? right. So yeah. there's there's that. So, Martin and Ben, I know you're probably wondering what drinks has Ladies of Leisure made with zero F's given. Oh. You, have you have you thought about a drink? That I have. Yeah, and you know what? I don't have. I haven't I haven't come up with one yet, but I've been thinking about it. Um, so I don't know yet. Do you have any suggestions, bartender Ben? Mm, let me take another sip real quick. <laughs> take another sip. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, just I'm, go for it. Go for it. I'm and, gonna pour myself pour a little friends. more. Right, just pour a little more. Just pour a little more. Washy, like. Just so you can see the glass being full. You know, no one wants to yeah. see an empty glass. No one wants right. to see it. It's like <laughs> bottomless brunch. You don't exactly. want to see the bottom. Nope, nope. Because then why, you're not at brunch. So to all our friends who are watching, um, if you haven't gone to Ladies of Leisure um, Instagram page, make sure you go follow, like, and purchase. Because this yeah. is some amazing rosé. It is. It is really good. And like also... Uh, we want to know who's in the room, who is, what what kind of, like, rosé flavors you like. So go ahead, put in the comments, you know. We want to yeah. get engaged. 
if you have a question, uh, go ahead and ask in the comments and we'll, we'll let her know. Uh, and we'll go from there because because this is engaging and we also want to know what are you sipping today too because you know it's happy hour you know we're in the middle of a pandemic again uh you know so we want to make sure everybody's good and okay and we want to make sure that you are having uh access to some of the best rosé in the land and so ladies and leisure <laughs> i'm here to implore you with some of the best zero f's given because when you sip this, you won't you won't care about anything anymore. Right. Yes, right. here we are. This yes, I would love. I mean, if anybody has any questions, I would love to hear them. Yeah. yeah. It's full body. I think you can make this into like a rose sangria. Ooh. Yes, I like that idea. I think that'd be really good. Um, what do you what do you recommend pairing this with? Oh, food wise. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, if you ask me, it goes with anything. I could see. Kind that. of food. Any kind of mood or no food. Do this with a steak. You know, I love a good steak. Right? You can definitely yeah. have a good, you know, porterhouse. And you know, not all rose goes well. And like, I'm a vegetarian, so like, I don't know about the meat, the meat. Uh, but the vegetables, I can see this like with a good, like, truffle, like, Alfredo pasta. Mmm. <laughs> Cause like you know how like it's so rich and cheesy. Mm. I feel like this has like this I don't know like body where it yeah. brings out like some of that Alfredo ness. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, another word Smith and food. Uh, legal terms I got that, but food. I don't know. Uh, the sausage is. <laughs> Alfredo ness is a word. I think I've seen that in the dictionary. Yeah, right? I'm an aficionado of sauces. Right. Um, <laughs> so I feel like that'll be. Great. Like, this is really delicious. Yeah, and I, honest, I like, like that. This is our first time trying it. I'm going to put this in my top five. Yay! I love hearing that. This is definitely top five. Yeah. Top five. It's definitely up there. It's, it's smooth. Up there yeah. It's good. And, like, I feel like you could take this to a party and everybody will be like, I like this. You know, it won't be like, wow! You know, those people, it's too. Yeah. I feel like everybody would be okay and be like, this was good, you know? Yeah. I feel and that's, like it would go well with everyone's palate. And that's that's a good that's a good wine. That's a good one. And that's kind of what we were going for because it, actually initially what the reaction that I was going for is, oh, you know, I like the label and it's like, oh, the wine is actually pretty good. Like I want people to almost be surprised because um, you know, what I'm used to experiencing when I buy or in the past when I bought wine with kind of like a fun label that I'm like oh I'm buying this because of the label the the wine is always like kind of disappointing and I'm like oh I love the label but I don't love the wine like it's not something that I would drink on um on a regular basis so one of the things that I really wanted to make sure we do is um have the wine be good like we want it to be like you said a crowd pleaser where Different people with different palates um, can drink it, and um, it will satisfy pretty much everybody. Um, and one of the things that we kind of say on our website is it's wine that looks good and tastes good because we don't want to leave anyone behind. So, no, I agree. And yeah. I look at my phone, and somebody wrote, it. I have glasses, obviously, for a reason. Um, someone said they want to purchase two cases of this wine. Okay. Um, so, how can someone purchase? Because clearly, people are like, "How I, can they get to the wine queen?" Yeah, so whoever you are, you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, so right now we are only online. So the best way to buy is through our website, and our website is LOL, which stands for Ladies of Leisure. LOLwines.com, and it's wines with an S. Because there's more than one. Because there's more than one, yeah. <laughs> I love good old American English. Yeah. So like, no, there's <laughs> LOL ones. Just so you know, we have more than one. <laughs> there, it's not possessive. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so lolwines.com. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So, Bartender Ben, yes, I know you like to ask people business questions. 
Sorry. Ooh. I feel like I'm a commercial. I'm sorry. I, no, I like I, it. Am I on Shark Tank? I'm Valley where I'm like, so, you know, you throw a stain on the floor. Does the vacuum cleaner <laughs> work? Like, sorry. But. I mean, I, I like the approach. Yeah. Hey, hey bottom line, we're trying to sell you some wine here. Yeah. You got to talk about it. Yeah. You got to dig it up. It's like a, a HSN, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like, yeah. I feel like we are the other HSN. Yeah, I, I choppy network. I feel like you guys are the better HSN. Oh, thank you. Yeah. The more modern, the more modern HSN, the one that I would actually watch and follow. Right. <laughs> the one you would get drunk watching. Yeah, exactly. That's grandmama's HSN. That's your grandmama HSN. You my, yeah. Been the morning on here. No. But but I know you have an affinity to small yes. business, yes. and so. You are a small business, and you know the pandemic has mm -hmm. you know taken small business owners to a lot. So, like, mm -hmm. how have you been surviving? Like, how how are you doing? Right? Like, how are you? Like, you? <laughs> you know me me personally? Yeah. How are yeah. you? Yeah, that's a you know what that's the that's a great question, and I'm doing pretty good. You know, when the pandemic first started, I was panicking just like everybody else. I was you know, in panic mode for those like first two, three months. Um, and I think now I feel adjusted and I feel like the pandemic is still happening, but I just have to keep moving forward and keep, you know, building ladies of leisure and kind of put my mind on that. Because if I start to focus on what's going on in terms of the pandemic and the virus, I kind of, I feel like I spiral and I'm like, oh my God, the world is going crazy. So... Once I keep my mind focused, I, I do pretty good. Um, and then once I read the news, I'm just like, ah. So I kind of, I try to stay away from the news as much as I can because it's nothing good out there. They only report the negative stuff. Yeah, I know. Oh, I yeah. like, hey, we rescued a cat out of a tree. Yeah, I want to see some good stories. I want to see some good I stories. Because yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's all bad stuff. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Right now? Um, right now, for the last year and a half. Okay, oh, from, just, from last year and a half to now, how are you doing? Yeah. Um, I, think, I think having this podcast has been a, a release for us in a, in, in a way to get our social lives, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, D.C., people don't think D.C. is as social of a town as it is. Um, but it is a definitely a happy hour after work. You go somewhere, you release, you dance, you karaoke, you drink your life away, and <laughs> forget about the woes. And if you actually look yeah. at the news coming out of DC, it's very stressful. Even yeah. today, we had a guy come and try to blow up the Capitol again. What? You know? Yeah, it happened again today. Oh and my god. Like, we don't live far from it. So like you go on lockdown every other day now. The gates yeah. are up. Your whole traffic pattern's different. You know, we're most people in DC are going back to the office to go only back home. It's just been so crazy living here. Yeah. I feel like for us, we created a new network of friends like you who are outside of the beltway here in the district. Mm -hmm. And it's so refreshing. It's so amazing. Yeah. And, like, the connections that we're, we're making with people like yourself are, are impactful because we're seeing, like, the drive, the love uh, in a different industry that's, like, so different than what we're having here in the district. Yeah. And it's, it's just so, like, okay, it's not that bad here. <laughs> like, you know, it makes us feel good. But, like, it's definitely, like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I have some good news. Oh. Ready for this? I can see you. Ah! Yes, I can see you now. <laughs> Outstanding. Yay! Okay, wait. I'm going to, because I'm, you know, close to getting done, I'm going to pour myself a little more, and then I want to cheer with, with you guys. Yes! Because... You see, I already have a glass ready to go. Yes. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> okay, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Yay! Wait, wait, wait. I do that myself to cheers myself when I'm by mm -hmm. myself. Because I'm like Snoop Dogg. I wanna, I'm want i here for myself to celebrate myself. Yeah. yeah. I want to 
myself. For myself? Yeah. I like that. Well, what? I'm, I'm, it's me, it's me, and then yes. my, my new best friend, and my yes. new best friend's over here. <laughs> Yay! No, your best friend? Yeah. <laughs> Your friend is cool. I like your friend a lot. I mean, you know, I like cool. her too. <laughs> cool, too, but we like your friend too. This is good wine. No, it really is. Because, like, we are feeling this 13.5. Yeah. <laughs> the bottle, so that's Listen, it's, it's made to make an impact. You got to make that impact somehow. <laughs> I'm about to order some tacos. I'm just going to help you, you out there. You uh, well, you know, when you were talking about truffle mac and cheese, I was going to say, I would drink this with some truffle French fries. Yes. That's my that's my go to is truffle fries. Or any fries, but truffle fries with some Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm here for truffles. Mm-hmm. Oh I love them too. Someone did, oh, I, I think this is one of your friends. They said, Cheers, you are lucky I want to be with you. Aw. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, is I'm that one of your friends? friends? I don't, I'm, some of them are on. I'm going to find out, I'm going to have to find out who that was. Well, let's do some shout outs to your friends. Yeah. Like, I support friends. Yeah, shout out to my friends. Shout out to my parents. I think they're watching. I had to show them how to get on alive. I had to screenshot things for them to help them figure out. So I hope they're on. I don't know. <laughs> to the parents. To the parents. Yeah. Woo. yeah <laughs> we, we have to do the same for mine. Um, yeah. They usually watch after, especially like, like my work stuff. Um, mm -hmm. It's funny because my dad sometimes stumbles and actually watches the live. And yeah. Like, oh, and like type in the comments and I'll see it like I'm working. And he's like, <laughs> oh, that's my daughter. And I'm like. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, dad. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah. I'm happy now. Yeah. Like, yeah. I like, I like that it's being recorded in case they missed it. I can show it to them later. Yeah. Right. I'd rather do that than my dad stumble upon it like, that's my child. <laughs> yes. All caps. <camps. laughs> no spaces. <laughs> yeah, just like one long all caps paragraph. <laughs> yeah. He just learned what a space was. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Listen, you know, I don't I don't want to make fun of um anyone with technology because who knows what technology is gonna be like in 10, 15 years, then we're gonna be there. Oh, we're gonna be there. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone here know how to work Snapchat? I can do that. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know. Does it, see, it's happening. All the yeah. Time. Um, <laughs> I go commercial, like you're becoming your parents. I feel that, and I do get you know anxiety sometimes because it's like yeah. there's certain technology things I'm like, I should know how to do this. I have IT background, yeah. I just can't get it. So, yeah, new, like new buttons on the screen. You're like, well, how do you do? Like, what are the options? Like, how do I talk to another human on here? Like, man, I, I'm going back to Facebook. Yeah. Oh, that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going back to MySpace. I don't know what y'all are Yeah. Doing. It's tricky. That's like white pages. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right. No. I'm going to go back to MySpace now. No. no yeah. No, I mean, no. I'm just, I'm just like learning TikTok now, and I'm just like, like, I'm watching videos on YouTube to learn TikTok. <laughs> like, no. I was, like, I was asking my cousin the other day, right? She was like, you should do this video, right? You know, Zeus, love my little man. The Zeus. dog. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you see these videos where like the owner like bites the the dog and it's like a bite noise and then the dog reacts. Mm -hmm. So I would love to do that with my dog, mm -hmm. but I don't know how to create the video. I don't know how people make a TikTok. So I need to look at YouTube and figure out how to. Uh... Oh, your mama's on. Hi, mama. Hey, mom. Hey. My mom's on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm glad you made it on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, your mom needs to be friends with my mom. Because yeah, <laughs> exactly. And then we can, can like, do, we my can mom do. will actually call me while she's on something while I'm, like, doing it. And she's like, can you see me? I'm <laughs> on. Your mom just actually did the best way. I love your mother. Oh, that's good. Thanks, mother. <laughs> Strong work, mom. Yay, mom. Yay, mom. Cheers to mom. Cheers. Cheers to Cheers. all mom. To all moms. Cheers to all dads, too. Thanks. Cheers to everyone. And all dads who you don't know how to use space bars yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Yes. You have like a million tabs open because you don't know how to close them on your phone. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those times are coming for us. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. 
how to work Snapchat. We don't know how to work TikTok. What if something's going on? I, you know what, what we do have is more wine than anyone else. So our parents' generation, they yeah. had specific wine, they had box of wine, which let's be clear, definitely delicious and not underrated. But we are having more wine opportunities now, more women wine owners like yourself. Yeah. We're having more companies like you. Yeah. Wine. So I'm here for that, right? I am too. Oh yeah, no, me too. Like so, so as long as we're having those opportunities, I don't care about technology. Yeah, give and me honestly, more wine. No, yeah, about that technology. Give me, yeah. give me wine. Less Fs given. Right. Yeah, no I mean, the one, <laughs> the good thing about technology is it's enabled us to have all these opportunities in wine, start businesses. You know, so there's good things about it. It's just. It's so crazy how everything gets outdated so quickly and like things just keep moving. You have to just keep it up. And it's just, I feel like it's a constant hamster wheel when it comes to learning new technology. Like there's always something new to learn. And it's like, I just learned this new thing. Like I need five minutes. <laughs> no, that's really true. And I think Victoria just gave us the best quote for this moment. Which is uh, wine makes us shine. I love that. Wine does make a shine. That, that, there we are. Yeah. I feel like I'm shining. But yeah, no, yeah, you get to go. <laughs> the, little shine. Little wipe the shine away. I'm too shiny. <laughs> the wine, the wine shine. The wine, yes, the wine shine. Point that. There you go. You get the wine almost shine. to the end of the bottle. You get wine shine. You get wine. How, how far, how far along are you? Oh, honey, oh. where? Oh. What we don't do is F around. Um, because zero Fs are given. We don't oh, man. Them. I wish I could, like, this is what we need technology for, because I want to pour yeah, you guys some wine. Through, through. Yeah. Where's Martin McFly? I thought we were at Flying Car right. by now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Well, you know, I feel like we can just keep talking to you all night, but I don't I know. want to, like, belabor moments and all that. We have to meet in person. I feel like once we figure out this Delta variant, Lambda, yes. U sci fi. Gamma variant, too. Oh, all of them. All those variants. Yeah. All of them. I'm getting that booster for some Oh, life. absolutely. Me, too. And then he's a vet, so he probably already has it. I think he's just immune. Like, he's like. <laughs> Add one more to me. I don't care. I got about 30. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. I, I, listen, I want this thing to end, too, and I want us to meet in person. And I want to do happy hours in person. Yes. Well, we want to invite you and publicly put this out there to DC where we host you, where you do a tasting here in the district. So oh my God, we want to yes. help make sure that happens. So whenever you're free and we're socially able to do it, we want to make sure you come on down because yes. you're zero F's given. Right. Yes. In the yes. district. Yes. I agree. Yeah. I would love to come down and do a tasting with you guys in person with people. Bring mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll bring my mom. I'll bring my dad too. They they enjoy wine. Yeah. They're just I'll like bring, me. Well, my parents are in Chicago, but we'll figure it out. We'll try to get Yeah, them bring here. them down. Let's just yes. gather everybody and all their parents. <laughs> It'll be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we go, I want to just give you a few moments to let people know anything that you have that's upcoming. Anything on your website that you want to promote or anything that you have that you want to like say, last words, final thoughts like Jerry Springer, you know, like <laughs> you ponder anything, just put out there to the universe. Yeah, I mean, say in you. <laughs> yeah, so Ladies of Leisure is a brand new company. Um, like I said, we just launched like a month ago, so we'd love everybody to. Check our website out. It's lolwines.com. Buy some wine. Try it for yourself. And then follow us on Instagram. Um, our handle is ladies, at ladies of leisure wine. Um, and then connect with us. Ask us questions. Anything. Just I love, I love the back and forth. You know, I've started talking to um, followers on Instagram, and it's been so great. So I just I want to meet more people. I want to have more interactions. And then... Hopefully, sometime in the future, we can do all this stuff in person, and I get to meet everybody. Yay! That's a goal. That's a goal. 
Thank you guys so much. This was so much fun. Yes. And just imagine when it's in person. Oh my God. We're going to have a blast. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Same here. Well, cheers. Mm. Cheers. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing it more often. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Mm. Well, this has been a great happy hour. I know this was so much fun. Uh, I love talking to you guys. Oh, and someone's Victoria says she's coming with us. Okay. Oh, that's yes, my friend Victoria. Hey, girl. She's got the best quotes, and you know what? When we're talking about this, ladies of leisure. Okay, before you go, we gotta do this. Okay, we're gonna put it out there. And Victoria's part of this too. So we're gonna do. You're you're part of this because you're not a lady but a gentleman of leader. So yeah. I'm doing some uh, uh, labor. Yeah. I'm already know my role. <laughs> <laughs> but but I feel like you should come out with like a t-shirt line, Victoria. Like that quote. I'm feeling that yeah. the lady of leisure t-shirt. I, I love it. I will. I will. I mean, let's get a let's get a let's get a line going and also like, <laughs> let's get a club. Can, can oh my god, I would love a club, a ladies of leisure club, a secret club. A secret secret have a club too. Like yes. We have like handshakes, like Yeah. Handshake. I want like a really cool, like two minute long handshake. <laughs> oh, like it's like a dance move in it and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, oh, exactly. I'm here for that. I want <laughs> in the handshake. Can it be men's of leisure? Of a course. Of men of leisure. Yeah, like I have a rosary. Of course. All men, all hey, men are invited. Rose. Yeah, all men are invited, and also all men can be honorary ladies of leisure. Yeah, yeah it's kind of yeah. strange. We can talk about that concept, but I see I, I'm picking so, up what you put oh, that. Oh, oh, I you have to have a lady of leisure in order to be a gentleman of leisure. Ooh, I like that. So I like if you're a man of leisure, gentleman of leisure, you got to have a lady of leisure to be a gentleman. Yeah, that's right. You need, you, exactly, exactly. Got to use my noggin. See, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I earned my keep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it, too. Oh, you guys, I'm sad this is ending, but. I know, I know. I know. But I know we should do this again. And then, again, also, we talked about, we, there's ideas. We. We need to chat further. Ladies of leisure, we are we are team yes. ladies of leisure. Yeah. And, and we need to figure out when I'm going to come down to D.C. Yes. That's what we need to figure out. Yes, because we, we, we definitely would love to host you guys. Yes. Oh, my God. I would love that, too. I haven't been to D.C. in, like, four years, so it's about it time. It looks completely different. Really? Oh. I mean, I'm not surprised because it's the same thing in New York. Like, it just changes all the time. Yes. It um. You see, I tried to push my cup over a little bit because <laughs> um, this is good wine, honey. This is. Mm. I'm so happy you like it. Oh, oh, look at that! Yeah, she's getting all the drops on. I like I'm it. To make order. <laughs> I need to send you guys some more. Yes, you do. We need. Yeah. It's amazing. Zero F's get. Zero F's get. Right. <laughs> I'm not giving out of work tomorrow, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and I think my boss is on here. Sorry, guys. I'm Hi, boss, here. if you're on there. <laughs> I love y'all, but. Love you guys. <laughs> y'all, I ain't going to be no good tomorrow. <laughs> Half of the morning, you know. Don't call me till 10. You know what? You know what the, the one thing that I want to do to help everybody with uh, the next day? You know, to help everybody get to work on time, uh, some sort of morning hangover drink to just like revitalize you from a lady of leisure to a lady of work. I don't know. Still working on it. A lady of Nanifest. A lady of Nanifest. A lady of servitude. A business lady. A business uh, lady. Yeah. <laughs> You did. I, servitude, Sorry. destitute, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know, something attitude, because that's what we yeah. need to the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lady of attitude. What? <laughs> lady of everything. I know, right? <laughs> All right, well, again, we're not going to keep you longer. This has been so much fun. Yeah. Thank you. We will be in touch. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Thank you guys so much. Bye.
Bye bye. <laughs> Ladies of leisure, get you a bottle. LOL wine. LOL. <laughs> and it don't mean laugh out loud. Ladies no. LOL now officially stands for Ladies of Leisure. It's official. We solidified it here. Yes. Get on your throws, Queen. Get on your throws. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye.